Okay, so in this chapter, we will be discussing introduction to linear programming. At the end of this chapter, you are expected to demonstrate the following. Solve system of linear inequalities. Solve linear programming problems using graphical method. Solve linear programming problems using Excel solver. A linear programming problem is basically a problem of finding the minimum or maximum linear function subject to linear inequality constraints. In the manufacturing industry, linear programming may be used to determine the number of units a certain product a company must produce to maximize the profit or minimize the cost of production. The linear programming problem uh, basically consists of an objective function. It's either uh, a minimize or a ma uh, maximize linear programming problem. So for a minimize uh, objective function, these are the constraints. So mostly our, the inequalities are greater than or equal. But for maximizing the objective function subject to the following restrictions or inequalities, so the major inequalities are less than or equal. And then we call x and y as the decision variables. Now let's have the uh, graphical approach. A set of points x sub 1, x sub 2 satisfying all the constraints is called the feasible region. The maximum or minimum value of z is always located at the vertex of this feasibility region, also called the corner point. So take note that the feasibility region is obtained by graphing okay, all the inequalities and then uh, taking the solution that will satisfy um, the inequalities or the system of inequalities. And take note that the graphical method is only ap applicable f for two variables. So for three or more, you can use uh, the simplex method or a software such as an Excel, Excel solver These are, these are the steps in solving linear programming problems. So you state the objective function, write all the constraints, graph the constraints, shade the feasible region, find the corner points, solve the objective function at each corner point, and then determine the corner point that gives the minimum or maximum value. Okay, so let's have an example. A retail store stocks two types of customized travel bags, and uh, A and B. The store can sell a maximum of 400 type A bags and a maximum of 300 type B bags per week. However, the store can only store up to 600 bags of both types because of limited storage capacity. The store, can er, uh, the store earns a profit of 30 pesos per type A bag and a profit 50 pesos per type B bag. So how many of each type of bags that the store should keep per week to maximize the profit? Okay, so we define X as the number of units of type A bag and Y as the number of units of type B bag. The store can keep per week. So take note that the profit will depend on the sales of X and Y. So then the linear programming problem can be represented as follows. So we convert the statements, all the statements in the problem with the following. So we want to maximize, so here the Z is the profit, okay, and then we want to maximize Z, okay, so your uh, maximum 
objective function will be based on uh, expression 30 times x plus 50 times y. So 30 is the the unit price of x and then 50 is the unit price of uh, type B bug. And then subject to the following constraints that x is less than or equal to 400, y is less than or equal to 300, and then the sum of x and y is less than or equal to 600. So take note that this is the capacity of the store. And then of course since we talk about number of uh, bugs, no? x and y should be greater than or equal to zero. So expect all the solutions should be in the first quadrant. Okay, so we graph all those inequalities, uh, remove uh, for the boundaries. Okay, so we remove the less than or equal, and then we plot the equations of the lines. Okay, so this will be the the line x plus y equals 600 and then your line y equals 300 and then the line x equals 400 okay now since this is uh, to maximize so the solution okay the solution will be uh, the shaded one so this is the feasibility and then we try to get the corner points okay uh, 400 0 0 300 400, 200, 300, 300. How do you get the corner points? We just get the solution between x, x plus y equals 600 and y equals 300. Okay? Or we just solve the, the in, uh, intersecting lines or the equations of the intersecting lines simultaneously. Okay? So after getting the corner points, okay, we substitute in the uh, objective function, okay, to, to get the value of z and then we take the one with the maximum value and therefore the answer here is uh, 24 we get the, uh, the maximum profit uh, which is 24,000 with keeping 300 each no, for type A bugs and uh, type B bugs okay now we try uh, we try Excel solver in solving this uh, maximization uh, problem. Okay, so you're given the uh, the objective function. Okay, and then the inequalities, the constraints. Okay, first we set up the table and the formula to the uh, for the objective function C five, as shown, and then assign the decision variable cells. Okay. In this case, the cell C6 and C7. And then we set up the formulas for the constraints. Okay. Now, to fix the selection of the cells, we use dollar signs. In this case, uh, we fix the cells for our decision variables X and Y. And then we click the solver from the data menu. Okay. Select the cell for the objective function select our uh, changing variables and then we input uh, the constraints okay here and then uh, click here to make the variables all all, pos all uh, positive okay so take note that x and y are both positive so you have to click this and then choose the option uh, LP, LP Excel for uh, linear, okay, and then click the solve uh, option, and then that will generate, okay, the maximum values for X and Y, and of course, or the values of X and Y, that, you, that will give you the maximum value of, say, so in this case, 325, Okay, is your maximum z at x equals 7 and y equals 2. Okay, now let's try this. Okay, in my Excel solution. Okay. So, I have already set up the, okay, the 
uh, columns for the coefficients of x and y from your inequalities. Okay. Now we start with the uh, uh, objective function. Okay, so your objective function is 35x. So select 35 and then the cell for x plus 40y. So 40 times y. Okay. And then for the inequalities, let's start with x plus y less than or equal to 9. So the coefficient for x and y will be 1, 1. Okay, less than or equal to 9. So this is the constraint. And then for the cell reference, okay, we select the coefficient. And then the decision variable x. And then coefficient for y. And then our variable y. And then we put a dollar sign. Okay. Bef before and after the letter corresponding to the cell of our decision variable. Okay. And so we can now move the cursor downward to copy the formulas. Okay. And then, the next thing is, okay, data, and then solver, okay, select the objective function, okay, this is your objective function, and then, this is a max, maximum problem so select the option maximum here and then select your changing variables okay and then add the constraints okay so starting with this okay uh select less than or equal okay so you have other options here but since this is less than or equal so so just Okay, select now the constraint. Okay. And then add. Okay, then add another uh, in, uh, inequality or constraint. Select. This is already less than or equal, so no need to change. And then select the constraint. Uh, we have one more, uh, one more inequalities. So select. This is less than or equal, so that's correct. And then the constraints. Okay. And then, okay. Now, for the last two, your X and Y uh, are both positive. So, we just select this one. Okay. For non-negative decision variables. These are the three major uh, constraints. And then, we may use simplex LP. Okay. And then click solve. Then okay. So this will now generate you know, the the values for your uh, Z and then values of X and Y that will make your Z maximum.